Amen, amen. Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. We bring you greetings, amen, from the Mount Moriah Missionary Baptist Church, where our pastor is a Reverend Cedric Burkett Sr. and his wife and family. And we just thank God for the visitors, amen, for blessing us with your presence this morning um, in person or by Facebook or amen or YouTube. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. You and you. Amen. Ain't the Lord good? Amen. 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 Ain't the Lord good. Amen. We're going to sing our, uh, we're going to have a congregation of him. Amen. Um, amen. What a friend we have in Jesus. If you're able to stand, please stand on your feet at this time. morning, the book of Joshua, amen, the 24th chapter, beginning at verse 13, and I have given you a land for which ye did not labor, 
and cities which ye did not build. And ye dwelled in them of the vineyards and olive yards which ye planted not do you eat. Now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt. And serve ye the Lord. Yeah. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, mm-hmm. choose you this day yes. whom ye will serve. Yes. Whether the gods which your fathers served uh-huh. that were on the other side of the flood, My Lord. or the gods of the Amorites in yes. whose land ye dwell in. Here it is. But as for me yes. and my house, yes. We will serve the Lord. Amen. The word of the Lord is already blessed. Amen. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father God, Lord, we thank you once again for the fellowship and the sweet communion of your Holy Spirit, oh God. We thank you for allowing us to come together one more time. You woke us up this morning, clothed in our right mind with a portion of our health and our strength. We thank you for our pastor, his wife, and family. We thank you for the Mount Moriah Church. And we pray, oh God, that this is the church you are calling for in these last and evil days. Now open up our hearts, oh God, that may receive what you have for us this morning. And bless the choir, anoint their voices. And we be so careful to give you the praise, glory, and most of all, the honor. It's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Let the church say amen. 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 You may be seated at this time. Come on, Mount Moriah Church, and bless us this morning. With song of praise, amen.
How many know that he will? Amen. Y'all just say that like y'all like y'all know what y'all talking about. How many know that he will? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he woke us up this morning, right? Clothed in our right mind. With a portion of our health and strength. I'm going to ask y'all one more again. How many know that he will? Yes, he will. The Bible said that the redeemed of the Lord say so. How many been redeemed from the hands of the enemy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're so grateful, amen, to know that we serve a, a God that's able. Amen. No matter what comes up against us, amen, he, he's able to do exceeding the abundant of all we even ask or think according to the power that working within us. Amen. Amen. The blood still works. Amen. And, and that's good to know. Amen. Because, amen, we come to the part of the service. Amen. It's prayer time. Amen. It's prayer time. And how many believe in the power of prayer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. We used to sing a song. Somebody prayed for me. Had me on their mind. They took the time and prayed. And I'm so glad they prayed. I ain't going to sing it. I'm just saying what I'm saying. But let me read the prayer list right here. Amen. Our sick and shut in. We're sick at home. We have Sister Amen Williamson, um, Sister Adams, Sister Johnson, Brother Jones, uh, Sister McNear, Deacon Johnson, and Brother Duncan, and Sister Gaston. Brother Duncan is here. Raise your hand, Brother Duncan. God bless you. God bless you, man. Amen. That lets you know right there. Amen. God answer prayers. Amen. We have our sister Annie Churchill also. And at Sunday Nurse Home, we have Brother James Ingram and, uh, and also keep my, uh, my manager at my job, uh, Brian Holmes, uh, in your prayers. He's having open heart surgery. Uh, so with his permission, I ask, can we put him on our prayer list uh, here at the church? Amen. And, and also at Bereed, we have uh, uh, Sister Henrietta Stallings and family in the passing of Eddie Stallings. And uh, the Dickerson and Thompson family in the passing of Corrine Dickerson Thompson. Amen. Uh, and keep Pastor Gary Williamson family in your prayers uh, in the passing of his oldest sister, Willie Mae Smith. They will be funeralized to her Saturday down in Mississippi. Amen. And also keep the Holman and Jackson family in your prayers uh, on the passing of Leroy Jackson. Um, that's the brother-in-law of Deacon Burnell Holman, the brother of Mother Holman. Amen. The brother-in-law of Deacon Burnell Holman, a brother Leroy passed away Jackson. Uh, amen. He had uh, moved down to uh, Arizona. He, he passed away. So keep the Jackson and Holman family in your prayers. Amen. Amen. Also, we have Noble and the Shelby family in the passing of, uh, somebody say something? Uh, Eleanor Shelby, the aunt of Brother Leroy Nobles. Amen. So let's remember, amen, those families as we petition the Lord in prayer. And if your name is not on the prayer list, amen, amen, God knows, amen, he knows, amen. Well, you don't have to say anything, but God knows our thoughts, amen. He said the very hairs on our head is numbered, amen. So let's keep one another lifted up in prayer. Let us pray at this time. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for yet another opportunity you have allowed us to come before your presence. And we petition your throne, oh God, one more time to say thank you for your grace and for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for yet another day you have allowed us to breathe, oh God, and inhale and exhale, oh God. We, we thank you, oh God, for keeping us all week long from dangerous seen just as well as unseen. We thank you for food on our table this morning, uh, clothes on our back, Father God. We thank you for a portion of our health and our strength. And we pray, oh God, for our mothers of this church, oh God, of Mount Moriah. Bless every last one of them, oh God, and our pastor and his family. And every member in the name of Jesus, oh God, Lord, you see all, you know all. We pray, oh God, for the ones who do not know you in the parts of their sin, that they must throw up their hands, surrender, say, what must I do 
to be saved. And Lord, we pray for boldness, oh God, as we're living in a time, oh God, when there's chaos all over the world, but you declared in your word, 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn from their wicked ways. You forgive our sins and, and you will heal the land. And we thank you right now, oh Father God. And we pray, oh God, that you bless our going out and our coming in. For you said Amos 3 and 3, how can two walk together unless they agree, oh God. And we thank you. We bless your most, most holy name. You said in the Psalms 120, I will lift up my eyes and, and to the hills from which come in my help, relies in my help coming from the Lord. And Proverbs 3, if I trust in the Lord with all thy heart, lean not to our own understanding, but in all thy ways, acknowledge you and you shall direct thy path. Second Corinthians 5 and say, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. And Lord, we thank you right now for what you already done and what you're about to do. We thank you for your grace and for your mercy in the name of Jesus, oh God. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood. Uh, we speak the blood of every circumstance, every situation in the name of Jesus, oh God. And we, we thank you and we praise you right now. We thank you for the fellowship and the sweet communion of your Holy Spirit, oh God. And have your way, Lord. Have your way in our lives, oh God. Have your way, oh Lord. Have your way in our house, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And before we take our seat, we pull a pause and say, say, bless our kids, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Bless their going out and they're coming and build a fence of protection around them in the name of Jesus. And we be so careful, Lord, to give you the praise, to give you the glory, and most of all, to give you the honor. It's in your son Jesus' name that we pray. Let the church say amen. Amen. And amen. 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 God is just awesome. Awesome. Amen. At this time, we have special emphasis by Sister Wilma Hopskin and How to Give, followed by Brother Anthony Shelby. Amen. And after they, them two come, we're going to have a song by the Mamba Rai Choir. And then after Mount Mar 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 Choir bless us with song, your next speaking voice you will hear. Amen. Be nothing than our pastor. Amen. The pastor, Reverend Cedric Barquette, Sr. Say amen. They come in that order. Good morning. Good morning. To Pastor Burkett, amen. Minister Bass. To those watching on Facebook and YouTube, these are your announcements for the week. Sunday School convenes each Sunday morning here at the church at 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Dial into Bible class every Wednesday at 6 o'clock p.m. This week's lesson is session number five, Who Moved My Board? Changing the mentality from boards and programs to ministry. The Administrative Council meeting will be Monday, April 8th at 6 o'clock p.m. Our outgoing engagement. We will be the guests of St. Paul Baptist Church celebrating Pastor, excuse me, and Sister Benny Yarbo's anniversary on next Sunday, April 14th at 3 o'clock p.m. Pastor Burkett will be preaching, the choir will be singing, and the congregation will be coming to support and join in the celebration. We will be celebrating the first year anniversary for our pastor, Pastor Burkett, on Sunday, April 21st, during morning worship. Dinner will be served after our worship service. Our guest church and speaker will be Pastor Gary Williams and the Friendship Baptist Church. Each member is asked to give $25. Our men's choirs musical will be on Sunday, April 28th at 3 o'clock p.m. Our ushers annual day will be on Sunday, April 28th during morning worship. The youth are invited for a pizza lunch with the pastor uh -oh. Saturday, April 20th uh -oh. at 2 o'clock p.m. here at the church. 
there is a sign-up sheet that is being passed around today to indicate if you can volunteer to help with our upcoming Vacation Bible School, June 17th through the 21st. These have been your announcements for the week. Please govern yourselves accordingly. Thank you. Good morning, Mount Moriah. Good morning. Stand before you just to remind us of the ways in which we can continue to support the ministry here at the Mount Moriah Baptist Church as we say. Sunday after Sunday, we certainly thank and appreciate you for all that you do for the support here at Mount Moriah Baptist Church. If you're worshiping with us today, there are multiple, and with you with us on uh, Facebook and YouTube, there are multiple ways in which you can support the ministry. Again, if you're here with us today, you can drop your 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 givings in the uh, tie box, which is located to the right of our front entry door as you leave on today. Uh, our Facebook and our YouTube fans, the uh, participants, there are four or five ways now in which you can continue to support the ministry. You can mail your gifts here to the church at 1503 Arthur Avenue, Jewel, Illinois, 60432. You can drop your gifts off in our secure mailbox, which is to the right of our front entry door. You can download the Givelify app from the App Store or from Google Play and follow the prompts to set up Givelify giving. If you participate in online banking bill pay, you can, you can contribute that way. And then our fifth way is through Zelle. And you can access Zelle through your bank, with your individual bank. You can use the church's email address, montmoriah1503 at sbcglobal.net to access Zelle by your own particular bank. I'm reminded uh, in Mark 12, 41 through 44, it says, God does not judge us based on what we give. Receive grace to be generous and to have faith for divine provision. Amen. That's the blessing of giving. Thank you, and we appreciate you. Do, Lord. 
you brought me through that's why you keep on Beloved and my Mariah family, we thank God this morning for another, another high Sunday. And what I need for you to do is just ask yourself right now. Are you blessed? 
Somebody ought to say thank you. Did you walk in the door this morning? Are you looking for something this morning? Are you looking for a prayer to be answered this morning? Somebody may have struggled in their body with sickness. Somebody's heart could be heavy this morning. But what we want to do as a church is move in unison this morning. We want to be in lockstep and faith and and a side of a church that we can feel the Holy Spirit, that we can know that we can pray our prayer. The Reverend Bass praying, and as we pray one for another, we're going to be praying for one of our deacons, Deacon Moffitt. We thank God already for, for lifting him up. And I just want to uh, find out this morning, do you have a prayer this morning that you need? Anybody need a door open this morning? Huh? Anybody just need a little bit more peace? Uh, do you need a little bit more joy? Uh, yeah, somebody may be worried about a loved one this morning. Anybody in here want to feel the power of God upon this high Sunday? Because he the one told us if two or three come together, we here in his name. And he said if we can speak to a mountain and it will move. And all it takes was just a mustard seed, just that little mustard seed of faith. And I'm so glad I belong to a praying church, a believing church. I'm so glad this morning I'm around some folks that love the Lord. Anybody love the Lord this morning? Well, let's go ahead on and resonate this morning as we prepare our hearts to commune. And don't let Satan get in your way. I don't care what you've done. The blood. I don't care what you didn't do. The blood. I, I don't care about what happened 10 years ago and it's still haunting you. We're going to do it right now. We're going to cast every wicked thought down right now because the blood. We're going to remember this morning. Remember this morning. Anybody want to help me? Just remember what the Lord has done on a hill called Calvary. We thank God again uh, this high Sunday and, and to the Mount Moriah family, I just want to say to you good morning and I definitely want to just holler out. Uh, thank you, Reverend Bass and family. I want to uh, say hi, good morning to all of our visitors and our friends this morning. It's, we're so glad to have you here worship with us here at the Mount Moriah Baptist Church and we want to thank God for those uh, tuning in. We got ourselves a camera, a new cameraman. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try not to move much. I can't help it sometimes. I, I, I get a little leader of workout. <laughs> but sometimes when you're just in uh, 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 talking about the goodness of God, I know some people, you may can stand there and uh, everybody, what's the singer's name to pass away? Williams, remember he could just stand and pat his hand. Uh, some people can do that and stay in one place. But uh, uh, I feel a little energetic when I'm just in the spirit of God and and enjoy moving around, but we'll try to be a little solid. Solid. I'll try to stay solid behind the pool up here today, okay? All right. I definitely want to say deacons. Amen. We God bless our deacons and our deaconess. God bless Amen. each and every one of you for what you do here at the uh, Mount Moriah Baptist Church, even on a lot of work behind the scenes. We thank God for our, our choir who have blessed us up on this morning. I definitely want to thank the musicians and our ushers and I want to thank God for Sister Burkett and just want to tell us this morning for y'all who just watching there, just come on out to the church. I know a lot of people use it for a, hey, it's a convenience to, to Facebook it and YouTube it, but we're living in a time where we need to get together, church, and uh, get in the fellowship. We don't want to forsake this assembly. Uh, I know if you not, uh, you're not able, that's one thing, but if you're able-bodied and the Lord have blessed you to, this morning to get up, but you, you're going to go to work tomorrow, to, to Walmart tomorrow, you're going to go to wherever you go tomorrow, but Sunday was a little bit, uh, it was an effort to come. We, we want to uh, just beckon the church that, that if you are a believer in Christ uh, and there is a pew waiting for you to come out and beat your hand with the fellowship of this church and, and praise him upon today. Pray with me, church. We pray this morning to our Father, my Lord, which art in heaven. Lord, upon this high Sunday, 
the church. We ask you to bring us together as one. As we call upon that name that is above all name. That same name that every knee will bow. That same name that every mouth is going to confess. My Lord and my God, in the name of sweet Jesus, thank you for your favor upon the Mount Moriah family. Now give us that prayer, give us that faith to speak a word to each and every one of our sick and our shut in. Lord, I pray a prayer for the mothers of the church, the elders, Lord, that you would uplift their spirits this morning. I pray a prayer for each ministry. Thank you for what we do in the life of this church. Oh, not to be puffed up, but to lift you up. I thank you for every voice that's going to cry out to you and to say, Lord, come on in and just move upon your church. The Mount Moriah family need the presence. We need the Holy Ghost. Ghost. We need the spirit of the Lord to move, oh Lord, mightily because somebody need a breakthrough. Somebody need a door open. Somebody just need more Jesus. Somebody need to walk out of here with burdens lifted up. Somebody need to know that the Lord is moving in their life and that the world is not against them. We want to thank you for healing. Thank you for uplifting Deacon Moffat. We thank you for touching those in the nursing home, the hospital, the trauma unit. And now, Father, Father God, in the name of sweet Jesus, be with us during this worship experience. In the name of Jesus. And let us say amen. Amen. Church, we're going to take a look. at. I do have one verse we want to lift up coming out of the uh, gospel according to uh, St. John. I was going to read a little bit. Just a few minutes about the Sunday, the Sunday after Easter. Well, if you just bear with me for a few minutes there, I just want to talk about going fishing. Is there any people in here love fishing? Oh, I like fishing, but I used to go to Jewel. I used to go to uh, out there at Sam. Walmart even got that big blue bag, them southern country, whatever you call it, pride, and a little bit more easier for me. But I, I want to talk about the Sunday. Oh, after Easter, somebody. See, it's been a long, it's been a long week. Talking about last week, that Sunday after Easter. It's, it, it's been a horrific week. It's, it's, it's been a heartbreaking week. And Sometimes, uh, Mount Moriah, sometimes uh, just to make sense of it all, every now and again, we, we tend to go back. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, we just tend to go back to something that we are familiar with. So does anybody ever had this go back there, just, just to get some kind of sensibility of what that just happened and uh, just to find some type of place that you can just relax and re just kind of reflect on well, what's going on around the world. But I, I know somebody may have experienced that you're, today you're on cloud nine and uh, all it takes is just a nanosecond. Uh, it doesn't take long. Just a phone call, just a, a knock on the door. That, that, but but this, just a defining moment can change everything and before you know it you down you down you down in the dumps uh, well and you find yourself searching for something you searching for that one thing that you are familiar with Simon Peter oh he said unto them 
See, this is six o'clock Peter, straight up and down type of dude. I, I like his style. Everybody know he's rambunctious. He's a little bit out there. He, he's the first one to make a move on anything. Some of us just like Peter. You know, sometimes we just put the, put the cart up in front of the horse. But, 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 but he's, he, he's straight up and down. And, but, but when I get to looking at Peter, you, you can say what you want to, but he's the first one. Out of the disciples that walked on water. Can, just a few minutes about Peter. Just a quick biography about Peter. He, he is the one that whipped out a knife and uh, cut a man's ear off. And uh, oh, put it away, Peter. I love to have run with Peter. Peter had your back. You didn't have to worry about nothing. Because if it was going to pop off, Peter was there. But, but, but he is the one that boldly said something. He said, Lord, I will never. I would never, never, ever leave you. But nevertheless, not one time. Oh, not two times, but three times. I, I don't even know it. You know it's got to be bad when you deny somebody and say you don't even know them. But, but let me get back to this Sunday because this was the Sunday after Easter. It's been three years, a little bit more, that the disciples had been walking with the Lord. Uh, they was with him uh, when he turned water into wine. Uh, uh, they was with him when he, uh, uh, he, he calmed the raging sea. Uh, they was with him, church, uh, when he healed the sick and he opened blind eyes. Uh, they was with him when he took uh, five pieces of light bread and two fishes and, and made fish sandwiches for 5,000 folk. Peter was with him, somebody, ain't he all right? But, but now he's gone. He's gone, somebody. I didn't get a word on here on my right side. I say now he's gone. Easter is over. It's all over last week. What happened last week? This is this Sunday. This is the Sunday after Easter, somebody. Ooh, come on, Holy Ghost. Help me out. Uh, oh, uh, he said, this is what Peter said. He, he said to Thomas, uh, listen what Peter said. He, he said to Daniel, and, and there were John and James. Uh, there were two other unnamed disciples. Uh, Peter said, I, I go a-fishing. Ah, uh, but has God ever worked a miracle right in front of you? Has God ever done something that was so mind-boggling that you know it only had to be a God that can do such things? I know you don't like to tell nobody when you didn't have nothing to eat, but there it was right now. Somehow the Lord opened the door, and now you, I know you don't like to tell folks how your lights was out and how they was put the stick on your house and they're going to put you out next week. But I know you don't like to talk about how your child was locked up and, and how you didn't want to get him out, but God made a way for you to go ahead and get out. I know you don't want nobody to know about your little girl running wild and you know she was going to get herself into something. You trying to pray and talk to her, but let God have it when God moved in and done that thing. Well, have you ever, ever? And then when it's all said and done, the prayer was answered. Uh, the breakthrough came through, and, uh, and now it's smooth sailing, and uh, look at you now. It's time to go fishing. Uh, but what I'm trying to say, you done kicked it down a little bit, because what I'm trying to say, when, uh, you read Bible more fervently when you're jobless, and uh, you know you get all up in there, oh, I've been young, I've been old. Oh, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Oh, I've never seen the seed that the pages got all kind of teardrops on it. Daddy, oh, you got it highlighted. You got it folded up and uh, you can quote it backwards and when you cling on to it. But, but look how God done bless you with a better job. God done open up doors and you got more benefits and you got more pay coming. You, you riding good and you living good And but now, here we go right now. God done bless you and now where's the Bible at? I mean, I, I, it might be in the car it might be on the end table, but when was the last time we picked up Bibles? God have blessed you. I can tell you right now because I go fishing, God. Everything all right now. I time to go fishing. Mm -hmm. We go back. 
We go back, back there, your ushers. Y'all hear me, ushers. We go back, ushers. We go back to some familiar ground. Uh, you've been around folks and uh, gather around the altar. They're sick in their body and they tell you that they're not feeling wood and that you can hear it in their voice. There's passion in their prayer. There's fervor in their prayer. And something in their body they don't want. they thinking about is this it? Am I getting ready to go on the other side? And when you hear them say pray with me brother they hold your hand tight and they hug you hard but, but look here. Ah, uh, uh, you heard somebody holler, ow, uh, pray with me, Brother Burkett. Ow, uh, uh, he was wounded. Oh, uh, for our transgression. He, he was bruised uh, for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace is upon him. With his stripes, heal me, Lord. I say, heal me, Lord. And now look at you. You got your healing. You got your deliverance. And all of a sudden, when we look around, the healing took place but nevertheless the prayers have lost their zeal. It's a different kind of prayer when you're broke. It's a different kind of prayer when you're hungry. It's a different kind of prayer when your house is upside down. It's a different kind of prayer when you're going through. It's a different kind of prayer when they run you off in fire. It's a different kind of prayer when everybody's against you. Talk about you, ridicule you, run you down and oh you wanted some relief and when God make a way for you to get out of that situation what do we do with God oh I got her now God uh, uh, let me take the wheel uh, oh we go uh, fishing oh ain't nobody gonna help me out this morning I ain't picking uh, uh, and making no fun at you if you like fishing uh, I'm not picking at Peter I'm not picking at the boys uh, but I'm just here to tell you see a fisherman uh, they catch a live fish and they die but a Christian uh, catch dead fish and uh, they come alive somebody talk to me that, have you been fishing lately uh, God wants something for these boys to do. He said, meet me in Galilee, but y'all tuck it up on yourself. Let's get out on the crystal lakes and cast a line. Well, well, all across America. Somebody need to talk to me because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in here in a few minutes. I'm getting ready to go in. You better hold on, church. Uh, all across America, uh, last Sunday, oh, uh, look around. Folk came to the church house uh, with salvation in their, on their hearts and hope in their mind. And they got inspired by the choir. They got inspired by the prayers. They got inspired by the preach word. And when we get the good feeling we want because sometimes we throw on our sleeves and we want to feel good about ourselves because it's Christmas and Easter. But God is not looking for a creaser to come to church. Christmas and Easter is one thing, but where is it when God is doing something for you 365 days out of year? God don't need you to tip him some time. God don't need you to schedule him in two, day, two, two times out, out of the year, but what I'm trying to tell you, if the Lord is moving in your life, if the Lord has done that something for you, if the Lord is blessing you, if the Lord is talking to you, if the Lord is moving in you right now, somebody ought to say, God, I'm not going fishing. My God, the Sunday, uh -huh, uh, yes, sir. It's the Sunday after Easter, y'all. Well, when I look, look what he said. He said, uh, I, I like the King James the way he put it. You know, the other ones, he's not talking, he's Got, kind of got the syllabus broken in a little bit different, but King James said, I go a fishing. It's personal to this boy. Oh, and look what they said. Uh, they said unto him, 
we go also. We're going to go with thee, Peter. In other words, it sounds like a good idea to us. You know, you always can find somebody that want to say, hey, let's get out of our responsibilities. It's all, well, we went last Sunday. We don't have to go this Sunday. Oh, that's too early to get up and go to Sunday school. Let's wait and we'll just go to church. You always got somebody that you can hook up with and say, I'm going with you. You heard this say, I'm going with you, Shug. Oh, help me somebody, Holy Ghost. And somebody don't know nothing about that color purple. But, but what I'm trying to say here right now, Peter, Peter and the boys went down to the lake. Galilee. See, this was familiar ground. You know, they were comfortable, you know. Yeah, you know, there's some places you go back to with old, you know, them corners the boys hang out at you, and you don't feel some type of way. You you might feel comfortable. You know, certain houses, you know, you don't supposed to be there, but you done went in the back door trying to get out the front door quicker. You but you come you comfortable in and doing something when the Lord done told you to go somewhere. And I don't know if he's telling you to get into some devil, man, but he just said, Go to Galilee and wait for me. Well, let's get back into the story. They got into the boat. Brother Delo, come on, boy, I go a fishing. They loaded up in the boat. John said, I like the way he put it, if you look at the text, he said, immediately. See, they didn't play around with this fishing trip. They ready to get out of here. We got to get somewhere. We got to go somewhere and do something. Yeah. It, you know, too much. It done jumped off this week. Too much popping off around here, you know. Let's get out there on the water where we can just relax and enjoy each other and just reflect on what all just happened. And, uh, but when they went out in the fishing trip, see, it had been rough this week. I, I know it is. Let's gather our thoughts and, you know, how we do it. Don't get, ain't nothing wrong with getting some me time. You know, everybody wants some me time. Everybody don't like to be all huddled up and bothered up with folk all the time. But just, especially if you done been through something there, you just want to just sit back and let your mind clear out. Let's go fishing. Let's go church. Well, I, uh, see, it's the Sunday after Easter. Let's go fishing, church. Uh, the, the, see, the Lord is at work here. And sometimes the Lord will let you go ahead on and do some things and go some places. He's not done with the disciples yet. He's not done with Peter yet. So go ahead on and go fishing and let's see what jump off. Uh, see, see, there's, there's still some fish to catch out here. You see, John, he loved him and Peter denied him. But Thomas doubted him and all the rest of them deserted him. Uh, but look what the Bible says. Uh, uh, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible said they, that they fished fish all night. See, there's some folks you can't go fishing with. You go fish with some of them folk down. You all know so when they got lunch and coolers and what's all that? A <laughs> couple hours don't mean they out there all night long down on that coast. And I'm like, this will never happen again. I ain't go down. <laughs> I'm talking about my folks. I hope they ain't watching this morning. <laughs> Like I said, if you don't know it, I'm not a fisherman. I, I like love. Matter of fact, I love fish, but I just can't do that. It's just, I don't know. You can say it's relaxing. Oh, somebody say it's so peaceful. And, uh, oh, not, not for me. It ain't as boring. And, uh, you know, <laughs> bug biting you. <laughs> you know, bush move. You got to look over there. Thing, I ain't one of them big snakes or something like that. Frogs and never uh, just call me when they coming out the grease. I like mine. It's kind of hard around the edges. Uh, oh, ain't he all right, somebody? <laughs> well, uh, look, 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 look here. Uh, they fish all night long, church. And what did they catch? And that night they caught nothing. <laughs> But they back to familiar ground and they got nothing. But I just want to let you know when you go back 
to familiar ground. Don't look for something productive to happen. Don't look for something prosperous to happen. You know, I've seen folks been delivered and, and done been set free and uh, done been out on I done, I done went through this program and they go back to familiar ground and the next time you see them, they back strung out and back all looking. What happened? Uh, then I'd have seen Christian folks. Uh, you know it ain't nothing wrong with stepping and dipping. And, uh, I know you like to flirt with stuff and walk down a razor blade, but ask myself a question for me. Is it godly what you're doing? Uh, I don't care what kind of music it is. There's some places it might be familiar, but you got to say to yourself, I maybe I shouldn't be because you being looked at in a way you don't imagine. Somebody, let me go stepping. Let, let me walk out with a Coca-Cola bottle wrapped up in a bottle all oh, wrapped out of my pint. Let me get caught up coming out of Motel 6. I, I was counseling somebody. Yeah, right. Let me see Sister Burkett on this one here. Some things in some places you just can't go. You just can't do. I know you familiar with it. I know you it don't bother you, but something on the inside ought to trick your spirit and say, you know what? I'm going to catch you on the next one on this. You got the so you are a representative of Jesus Christ. No oh, looking at you, that cause it's familiar don't mean you got to get in it. All of us familiar with something. Oh, telling me, oh, you can hang out with us for what? Oh, you going to remind me of some mess I don't want to be reminded of. And when I try to tell you about the church, you want me to go fishing again. Come out of Egypt. And stay out. In that night, they caught nothing. Back to normalcy. Back to what they feel comfortable. At. I'm not beating these boys up for going fishing. I mean, that's what they did. They was, you know, they loved fishing. They made a living off of it. They was fishermen. But God said, "Go and wait." I don't think your God, if Jesus went upset because they went fishing. Matter of fact, He's gonna use that whole thing. That's why I want you to read that that rest of that chapter. Read it. I tell you what, I'll just go ahead and preach it. <laughs> well, uh, look here. <laughs> see, see, God knows how to put us in a place to get an empty net. Somebody net empty here right now. You fishing. Ain't no joy in your net. You fishing. No forgiveness in your heart. You fishing. Look at your pocket. Lint in it. I need a blessing, Lord. You're fishing, but look at your house in turmoil. You, you fish and you go to job, you're in misery. You fish and you come to church and your face is upside down. What, what, what's so mean about coming to church? Uh, you fishing, though. I got to, you going to fishing. I'm here to tell you, have you caught anything lately? See, um, have you told somebody? See, a fisherman, you know what fishermen do. They go fishing, catch a live fish, and they die. But when we go fishing, we catch dead fish, and they live, telling somebody about the goodness of God. Is anybody fishing in here? Have you gone fishing lately, brother? Sisters, have you gone fishing? Well, I just need to know, are we living that life? Are we living that's attractive. Are we living something that draws people to you? Uh, uh, just think about it like this here. If it was somebody on the other side and you could look at yourself, would you feel comfortable walking up to them and, and saying, hey, brother, sister, I, I, I just want to know right now, what do you stand with God? I'm not asking you to come to church anymore. That's old school. You need to get right down to the issue and find out what a soul is anchored. Uh, Y'all know this song. Uh, my soul is anchored. Anybody 
soul in here anchored in. I, I, my soul is anchored in the Lord. And somebody need to look at that and say, you might see when the billows get to rolling up on that cloudy day, but if your soul is anchored, somebody see it. Brother, sister, what brought you through? Well, 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 well. See, uh, uh, let's go ahead on and go to work, church. I got work to do. See, uh, see, it was early. It was in the morning, church. Uh, oh, God. See, Jesus, he was on the shore. Uh, they're out there fishing Mount Mariah all night long. <laughs> oh, sister, do you hear me over here? They, but it didn't catch nothing. Uh, sister Carlotta, you ain't, you, you fan and come fan me for a minute. Because if I had to fish all night and, and I ain't caught nothing, I'd be hot. <laughs> uh, but look what happened here, church. And uh, while they was out there fishing, uh, there was a voice over the shore. <laughs> that yelled out to him. I know you got your Bibles open. You can see it in the text. Uh, and then the voice said, children. Oh, children. Said, Have you caught any fish? <laughs> oh, that had to be an insulting question for all you fishermen. And you come back with your bucket empty. Uh, you done been out there all night long. <laughs> well, well, well. And so they had to answer Jesus. Uh, they said, No. Uh, we haven't caught anything <laughs> but the Lord. Uh, Y'all better go ahead on and I, I want to get happy. Oh, I want to get happy by myself. Uh, but the Lord. <laughs> look, what he, look what he said, Mount Moriah. <laughs> God said, uh, he said, cast the net, <laughs> and not on the left side, <laughs> and y'all with me, Bible reader, <laughs> this is something about being obedient <laughs> to the Lord, <laughs> he said, cast the net on the right side oh God ain't the Lord on casting that on the right side of the ship I just want you to look at this for me real quick see the blessing the blessing was just the width of a ship if you're throwing a net on the left side oh you're toiling all night long I ain't got on uh, they took the net, Mount Moriah, uh, and I can see Peter and John hossing it up. Uh, and when they curled the net in a circle to throw it out, uh, they didn't throw it out on the left side, uh, but they threw it out on the right side of the ship. Uh, ain't got on. Uh, I said, Amy, Amy. I said, ain't he, ain't he, ain't the Lord all right? When you obedient to the Lord, I'm telling there's a blessing with your name on it. Ain't God all right? And when they hoist the net over the ship, they begin to pull it up, Sister Myra. They begin to hoist it up, and I can hear now thing you say uh, this net is heavy uh, uh, there's a heavy load uh, for your burden uh, if you be obedient to the Lord uh, I'm going to tell you what he'll do uh, see it's the Easter uh, we got to talking about something last week uh, but this is the first Sunday uh, you can look around and see who want a blessing uh, I got inspiration last week, but this week I come for my blessing. Ain't God all right? I said, ain't he, ain't he? I said, ain't he, ain't he? Ain't the Lord all right? They pulled the net up. They got it halfway in the boat, but they couldn't get it up because there were too many fishes. The Lord 
loud. I say it loud. He got a blessing for you that you can't get it up. Just cast your net on the right side of the boat. Because when you on the left side, you might come up with nothing. Ain't God all right. I said, ain't it, ain't it. I said, ain't it, ain't it. Ain't the Lord all right. It was John. Oh, John. He was wandering Mount Moriah. Who said if you caught any fish out. And when he looked over on the shore, I can see him streaking his eyes. He stepped back. He said, Peter. He said, look, Peter. It is the Lord. And God, all right. Peter let go of the net. He jumped back. And when you read the text, y'all, the Bible said he was naked. But he did have on some shorts. Peter got to the bow of the boat and off in the water. He went swimming toward the road. You can't play around with it. If you want your blessing, just jump on in. If you want your blessing, just jump in the water. Peter starts swimming to the Lord. Back smoking sometime trying to get to Jesus. Do you want to get to Jesus? I said, ain't it all right? Do you want your blessing? I said, ain't it all right? I said, ain't it, ain't it? I said, ain't it, ain't it? I said, ain't it, ain't it? Ain't the Lord all right? Peter got to the shore and ran up to Jesus. When he looked on the ground, the Lord had another blessing. He had some hot coals and a fish sandwich going on. Here come the other disciples. What I'm trying to say, God, he got a double blessing for you. God, he got a double blessing for you. Just keep trusting. But he had to straighten one thing out. God, while they was eating, he said, Peter, do you love me more than these? Peter said, yes, Lord. You know I love you. But it was another time. He said, Peter, Peter, do you love me? Peter said, yes, Lord. You know I love you. But it was a third time. He said, Peter, oh, Peter, Peter, do you love me? It hurted Peter's heart. He was as grieved. He said, Lord, you know all things. You know I love you. If you love the Lord, go ahead on and tell him. I love the Lord. He heard my cry. And he pitied every ground. Long as I live in trouble rise, I will hasten to his throne. Any all right? Any all right? Say yeah. There may be somebody. There may be somebody that's been fishing. And the fishing trip is over. If you don't know the Lord and the pardon of your sin, he's waiting. The doors are open to the church. He's waiting. Will you come? If the Holy Spirit is pricking your heart, don't put off for tomorrow, not next Sunday, for what you can do today. See, this is the Sunday after Easter. The tomb is still empty. He's waiting. 
Would it be one? You could be watching by way YouTube, Facebook. All you have to do is confess it with your mouth and believe it in your heart. And you will be saved. Would there be one? times we prepare our hearts and our minds uh, for Holy Communion, and I thank God that you've already flushed that out of your mind. Yes, you are eligible, and you are responsible for this communion you are about to take. Don't let Satan push in your mind what happened two weeks ago. It is time for you to take communion. As we prepare our hearts, uh, Reverend Bass will be reading a, a, a passage of scripture, and as we prepare our hearts and minds. Let us commune with one another. <coughs> First Corinthians 11 chapter, beginning at verse number 18. For first of all, when you come together in the church, I hear that there be division among you, and I partly believe it. Yes. For there must be also hearsayers among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. When you come together, therefore, unto one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in eating every one take it before others his own supper, and one is hungry and another is drunken. What? Have ye not houses to eat and to drink in? Or despise ye the church of God and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me, as often after the same manner. Also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye, as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthy shall be guilty of the body and the blood of our Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth 
and drink it, unworthy. Eat it and drink it, damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. And the word of the Lord is already blessed. As we prepare our hearts and our minds to commune, if you have not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, uh, we ask that you would please refrain from taking these elements as just read, read uh, throughout through our scripture. But if you have, let us embrace this moment, and I need for you to pray with me. My Lord and my God, we thank you for this high Sunday, this first Sunday. As we do this as often as we do this to remember you. Father God, we remember what you done last week as we celebrated. We remember the blood. We remember the empty tomb. We remember the cross. And Father, as we commune with one another, we want to speak a word right now. Father, that you would bring us a peace, that you would uplift a heavy burden. Father, that you would go on and let us pull down every stronghold and every hindrance as we commune with one another, as we say right now, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. In your most holy name, we pray. Bless these elements in a spiritual manner. Amen.
this time, as you remove the wafer from the top, I know it could be a little cumbersome. If I need to hold up a minute to say hold up, you need another one. You need another one. Yeah, these are a little tight there. These are a little tight tight. If you want to need another one, I have a beacon right here to bring it to you. Sister Lolita, thank you. If we look up on these wafers right now, we thank God for this moment, this first Sunday, this high Sunday. And if we just take a moment to remember what he has done. I know we run through the Bible scriptures and it can be in black and white. But just imagine a body that was beat, that was slapped, that was spit upon, that was whipped all night long yes. for your sins and mine. If we would, let us come in with one another. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. The blood. In like manner, we remember, if we can imagine how the blood, the blood came streaming down, that same blood to cover your sins, to cover my sins, let us commune with one another. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I pray and hope that, and I know you've been re rejuvenated and refreshed as we thank God for this high Sunday as we remember the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. If you all would just give me just a few moments, I want to uh, uh, get uh, stay current with my birthdays here, and it is April. Yes, it is there. Uh, Deacon Bell. You. We say happy birthday to Deacon Bell. And the week is so special, you're the only one that's going to be saying happy birthday. <clears throat> we gave you the whole week for yourself. And if you need another one, I got an opening. We would like to just say, uh, Sister Carolyn, Sister Tucker, thank God for you. Uh, seeing you and the boys today, uh, thank God for you and all of the uh, visitors. We pray and hope that you uh, were blessed with the songs, uh, with the uh, uh, with the preaching of the word. If you do not have a church home, you know you're welcome. You're always welcome here to Mount Moriah Baptist Church. As we prepare to dismiss, uh, you be mindful of all the announcements and just want to say thank God for the boys, all our, the, our young men up in there. Just good to see all these uh, little brothers uh, up in here. Anything ever jump off, I, we got some good help, some young, <laughs> <coughs> young, young football players. Hold them until I get there. <laughs> We will. <laughs> now I just had that in mind. I know Sister uh, from the meeting tomorrow. I know Sister uh, uh, Bell was at, brought up some of the, on the agenda there. I will be talking about church security. We want to bring that up again 
uh, to the church. Uh, just to let you know that we take it seriously as uh, the safety of our children, our elders, uh, and God forbid, and we're uh, praying that the blood of Jesus is always covering our church, but uh, there's nothing uh, in the world wrong with being wise and nothing wrong with being uh, not in denial about what's going on in the world today. Yeah, but we do just want to let everyone know we have one plan. I know we've looked out to the safety. We have people that's, that's uh, in the nursing and, and in the health care that can able. We have first aid kits and stuff like that. But we want to avoid using it, right. Right, keeping, our, keeping ourselves safe. Okay, uh, Reverend Bass, uh, you have anything you'd like to say? It's always choir. We thank God for our musicians. We thank God for our choir. I thank you, deaconesses. I thank you, deacons. In the back, back there, ushers, God bless. Amen. Everyone in between, let us stand now for the benediction. Pray with me, church. Thank you, Father, for this glorious high Sunday. We thank you for the moving of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Father God, to continue to just touch and move upon Deacon Moffat. We thank you, Lord, that you would stir up in him right now the faith and the hope that we speak a word, that you would uplift his wife, uplift him, O oh Lord. And whatever's trying to come against him, we come against it. We speak a word declaring right now. We decree healing. We speak the word right now, Father God. We thank you for our children, that you would plead the blood of Jesus as we go out through this week, Lord. Continue to bless mama. Continue to bless our fathers. Continue Continue to keep our hearts right here until we meet again. And Lord, as we leave out on a high note, we want to thank you one more time for this communion. We want to bless you. We want to shout glory, hallelujah, till you bring us back here to your praying ground. And let the church say, Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace.